Now that we've seen how file systems work, we turn to several optimizations that help make it fast, since mass storage devices tend to be slow. We'll first discuss some software optimizations, and then turn to hardware. If your first reaction is, let's use a cache, then you're on the right track. Indeed, most operating systems do use free portions of main memory as a cache for the much slower mass storage device. Statistics vary on this sort of thing over time as technologies change, but by most measurements, memory is as much as 100,000 times faster than disk for random access. We'll use the portion of memory used as the cache for disk, the unified buffer cache, a name it earned for some obscure historical reasons. The terminology here can be a little confusing, so I want to emphasize that we're talking about in-memory caching of the contents on the disk, not the RAM on the disk controller that the device controller here might use. When data is read from disk, it is stored in this unified buffer cache so that subsequent reads can find it there instead of having to bother the disk again. Because disk access is often sequential, it is common also to read ahead in a file, loading up subsequent blocks to main memory so that it is there when the application needs it. Writing to disk is usually done with the write back policy. The change is made only in the unified buffer cache at first, and the page is marked as dirty. The slower operation of writing the data to disk is postponed until some more opportune time. New files can also be created and stored in the unified buffer cache. If a file has a very short lifespan, writing to disk might not be necessary at all. The existence of the in-memory cache means that a call to write isn't a guarantee that the data is changed on the disk and will persist. The changes are only reflected in memory. The advantage is that the program gets to resume faster and get on with its work. The downside is that if the system crashes before the write has been made to disk, then changes will be lost. If you really do want to make sure that changes are reflected on disk, you need to call fsync or msync to flush out the unified buffer cache. The write back policy of the buffer cache is also the reason that operating systems will warn you not to remove storage devices without ejecting them first. It needs a chance to flush the buffer cache of any dirty pages so that changes will be reflected on the device. 